<laughs> I don't really have downtime the night before the game. I'm nervous, man. My mind is constantly going. Um, you ever been beat deep? Ball going over a guy head? <laughs> It ain't a fun feeling, man. So that's what I'm thinking about trying not to get beat deep in front of 90,000 people. Um, but, you know what I mean? I, I kind of just sit back. Not a big music person like that. Not a big movie person like that. I just sit back and kind of go through all the situations in my head of what can possibly happen. If this guy was to go down, what would be my next move um, from a special team standpoint? What do I need to do to get my guys prepared? So it's all kind of just ball, man. Well, it depends on where we're at. You know, if we're on the road recruiting, you know, am I with the team? You know, there's different, you know, there's different times that we go through. You know, there's some games, you know, we're here and we're meeting and we're doing walkthroughs and we're doing that. Sometimes we're on the road recruiting. Uh, so, you know, we, you know, we're not with the team. We may get in at midnight, one or two o'clock in the morning. So it just depends on where you're at, you know, what you're doing, you know. So, uh, you know, there's a lot of work, a lot of, you know, a lot that goes into this thing, you know. Night before the game, really, for us, it's all about just checking, you know, over, you know, situational stuff, making sure guys feel good about, you know, the, you know, the game plan. But more than anything, you know, you just want to reduce the player's anxiety because you can't perform at optimal level if you have anxiety. So you want to have them to build trust in their preparation. You know, and every week you have a plan to prepare them to where they feel good. And the game's kind of slowed down on Saturday. The game should be easier than practice. So on Friday, we're just kind of reassuring them, you know, being positive with the kids. You know, just saying, hey, go through your, you know, do, do what we've talked about. Do what we've coached you to do. You'll be fine. And then obviously, you know, for us, a lot of our, our time is spent with recruiting. You know, early Saturday morning four games recruiting, Friday nights, you know, checking high school scores and stuff like that, you know, and communicating with those guys and those coaches that you're recruiting. So, I mean, there's always something to do. And every once in a while, you know, get some time with your family, maybe call your kids, say hey to them, <laughs> see how they're doing. But um, not all, it's just, it's all balancing that. Well, what I try to do, you know, we get in the hotel and we have, have our meetings and when our meetings are finished, I always try to go and grab me a snack to carry back up to the room and, I, and me and the um, guy that works my analyst there at Lane, we'll kind of sit down and go back through the game plan one more time. And then after that, I just try to go to the room, just try to relax a little bit and you know, just get my mind off of football and fall asleep and then get up next morning and of course, if it's a morning or night game, but to get up next morning and do something physically if I can, if it's if it's not an early game, mm -hmm. and then after that, just get right back into the game plan, keep thinking it through and stuff. Uh, just just ironing things out. We have a lot of, and for me, you know, a lot of different personnel groupings uh, with different plays, and guys doing different things. So it's a lot of cramming uh, the last two days, uh, the Friday night before the game, and the day of the game, just making sure everybody know where they're supposed to be and uh, execute.